tonight on Size Eyes on the Skies. As we take a look outside Memorial Union, you can see clear skies in Ames. It was a warm, beautiful day. Of more on that later in the show. Plus, Danny has a look at the national forecast. Size Eyes on the Skies for Tuesday, October 19th starts now. Live from Studio 171 in Ames, Iowa, the Iowa State Meteorology Department team of meteorologists brings you the latest weather from around the country and out your front door. Iowa State's longest running television program and the only live weather broadcast on campus starts right now. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. Good evening. I'm your host, A.J. Rickman. We begin with tonight's weather story. On this date in 1982, a strong storm system produced severe weather, followed by snow across the northern half of Iowa. During the day on the 19th, thunderstorms swept across the region, bringing quarter-sized hail for 10 minutes at Cleghorn in Cherokee County. Over 3,000 pounds of ice accumulated on the scale at the Farmer's Co-op elevator. Later that night and into the morning of the 20th, snow fell across the area, with Sioux City reporting 8 inches, their second highest October snowfall on record. Other snowfall amounts included 8 inches at Akron, Howardon, and Sibley, 7 inches at Rock Rapids, 4 inches at Cresco, 2 inches at Decorah, and 0.8 inches in Des Moines. It was also on this date just a year later in 2020 that a quick, intense band of snow brought the first accumulating snow of the season into areas in Iowa along and north of I-80. Amounts ranged from 2 to 4 inches with isolated higher amounts along a line stretching from Des Moines to Belle Plain to Cedar Rapids. Amounts here in Ames were generally an inch or less. To discuss more on what's happening around the country, here's Danny with a look at our national forecast. Thank you very much, AJ. So okay, take a look here at our national headlines here. We've had snow here in the Rockies as well as parts of South Dakota and Nebraska. We've had a quiet weather system out in the east, especially in the New England areas and southeast. And we have potential storms coming next week to areas such as the Midwest. So I'll have that and more coming up for your national forecast. Welcome back. Now here's Danny with a look at what's happening around the nation. Good evening everyone. I'm meteorologist and training Danny Cassie with a look here at satellite and radar of a national scale. So as I talked about earlier, we have that snow uh, precipitating, excuse me, in the Rockies as well as parts of South Dakota and Nebraska. So we have kind of this low pressure system sitting over the area, bringing some of that colder air and some of that precipitation in that area. So also take a look out in the Pacific Northwest. We have some rain coming off the coast of the Pacific Ocean. As we look here in the New England areas, we have very dry conditions except for maybe a little bit of rain in parts of Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Clear and good conditions out in Atlanta for the southeast. We took a look at some of the watches and warnings going on right now. So we have some of these winter storm advisories and warnings here in Wyoming and then red flag warning here in Denver. Otherwise, if we take a look at the rest of the nation, very, very boring. Uh, not great for weather uh, applications, but good for uh, the rest of the country. So if we take a look here at some snowfall forecasts, so if we take a look at Wyoming here, a little bit of snow, maybe about another inch or so for the rest of the night. Uh, don't expect much more um, as the system starts to dissipate and move off into the east. Um, and some of that could stretch into western parts of South Dakota. Now looking at some of the temperatures across the country, so taking a look at the general look. So that area of snow, we have 37 here in Billings, 48 down in Denver, and then Pacific Northwest controlled by that Pacific Cool Ocean uh, at 59. And then take a look at some of the New England states here. So we have 47 up there in Caribou, 68 in New York, 63 in Norfolk, and then 81 down there at the point of Miami. So now looking at the Midwest more specifically, we have 73 in Minneapolis, my hometown, 72 here in Des Moines, 65 in Sioux Falls, and then some of that cooler air coming down from Canada, from Bismarck, upper 40s to lower 30s in that area. Looking at New England area, so Caribou, Augusta, and Montreal, all sitting around upper 40s. We have Boston, 60, Albany, 58. New York and Washington, D.C., a little bit warmer as they reach into the upper 60s. Take a look now at the southeast, again, with some of the warmer temperatures down here in Florida, as well as parts of Oklahoma and Texas. They have been experiencing some nice, uh, milder weather um, for this time of year, so they're sitting at the upper 70s. Now taking a look at the southwest, so we've got, again, that cool air stretching down into Utah and to 
Nevada, so we've got 45 in Salt Lake City, 57 in Elko, and then again, some of that drier desert air in New Mexico and Arizona with 84 in Roswell, 80 in El Paso, Western Texas, and 78 in Phoenix. Finally, at the Pacific Northwest, Again, we have those drier, uh, cooler air in the Pacific Northwest, 61 in Portland, 65 in Boise, and some of that cooler air over in the Rockies and parts of Wyoming and Colorado. So taking a look at the upper atmosphere here, so the 500 millimar maps, we like to look at this to see some general patterns of how some uh, low pressures and high pressures moves. So we see here kind of a trough pattern arising here in the center of the United States as that moves eastward. Uh, into parts of the Midwest that could bring some sort of precipitation as it moves off and a little bit of a ridge pattern here in the eastern United States, which means usually milder conditions, high pressures, which don't mean much precipitation. If you took a look here in to later in the week here on Thursday, again, some of that ridge now forms over the western United States, which brings in some of that drier conditions. And if we look into Sunday here, as I spoke about earlier, we have kind of a bit of a trough here forming in the western parts of the United States, which could be interesting for some storms coming up uh, early next week for the Midwest. So we take a look here at future casts. So we see here at Wednesday, uh, tomorrow at noon, so we have some rain showers here in Minnesota. And as per usual, uh, this time of year, we have Seattle and Oregon uh, getting hammered on by rain. So as we look forward into the rest of the week here on Thursday, again, those rain showers kind of move eastwards into parts of Toronto and into the New England areas as it continues to move eastward. And as we look here to Thursday night, again, we have some of that rain here, parts of Toronto, Washington, D.C., and New York move eastward. And again, the Pacific Northwest is getting absolutely hammered by rain. So taking a look at our forecast city here, Seattle, Washington, very boring for these times of year. So it's supposed to rain every single day this week with highs ranging from about the lower 50s to upper 60s. As we head into the portion of next week, we're looking at lower 50s and upper 40s for the lows. Thank you, Danny, for that forecast. And now, let's take a look at tonight's trivia question. During which time period does Ames normally see its first one-inch snowfall? Is it A, October 15th, B, November 1st through 13th, or C, November 14th through the 24th? We'll have your answer coming right up. Now, let's have a look at the week ahead with Luke. All right, we'll take a look at the headlines for this week. Very slight chance of rain tonight. Very spotty showers and thunderstorms popping up all over Iowa. Cool end to the week with temps in the mid-50s and very dry for much of the week. I'll have more on that after the break. Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Luke Prokash. Let's take a look at the current conditions right now. 71 degrees in Ames, clear skies, winds out of the south at 10 miles an hour, so very steady, not too windy out there. Dew point's very low in the mid-40s, so it feels like temperature's around 71 degrees. As we take a look at the current temperatures around Iowa, very, very uh, similar temperatures around the state. 68 down in Creston, 72 in Fort Dodge, 72 in Waterloo, 66 up in Dubuque. Very, very similar temperatures around the entire state. To so take a look at the dew points, like I mentioned, the very dry dew points, a lot drier near the eastern side of Iowa, a little more humid down in the southwestern part of Iowa, but very dry for this time of year. It's very normal. As we take a look at the wind speeds right now, like I mentioned, the very steady, not too windy out there. Calm up in the northern part of the state, a lot more windy down in the southern part of the state. As we take a look at the future cast for the wind, Wind speeds will pick up tonight into tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon will be pretty gusty. You may want to hold on to those hats tomorrow as you're walking around campus. As we move through tomorrow and into tomorrow night and into Thursday morning, the winds will stay pretty, pretty strong, pretty consistent throughout much of the day, much of the night tomorrow. As you take a look at the satellite radar right now, like I mentioned, we had the clear skies today. Nothing going on in Iowa. It's a beautiful day, beautiful start to the week. And it'll be more like this, a little cooler temps, but a lot like this for the rest of the week. Let's take a look at future casts. Like I mentioned, those spotty showers moving around Ames and much of Iowa. Might see some heavier rain right along the border of Iowa, Minnesota. Might see a couple tenths of an inch up there. As we move along, the showers stick around for much of northern Iowa, northwestern Iowa. But it's very spotty, very isolated. The 
localized heavy rainfall within those storms, but you shouldn't see too much rain up there. Let's move ahead into Thursday morning. We got spotty showers, but chances are those aren't even gonna reach the ground with how dry this atmosphere is. Clouds sticking around. As we move into Thursday afternoon, the clouds clear. It won't warm up too much, maybe around the 50s for Thursday and into the weekend. As you look at the forecast lows for tonight, 56 in Ames, 52 in Mason City, 57 in Creston. Very, very warm lows for this time of year. Not that cool. Don't need to turn on the heat tonight. Leave the windows open. It's going to be a very comfortable night. As you look at the forecast highs for tomorrow, 73 in Ames, 66 in Carroll, and 58 in Sioux City. We got that cold air moving in from the low pressure out in the Rockies. Cold air is going to move in across the state tomorrow and into tomorrow night, leaving us in the 50s for the rest of the week. Look ahead for tomorrow. Like I mentioned, might reach 70, 73, probably the forecasted high. Average high for this time of year, 61 degrees. So very above average for this day and at this time of year. Low is very steady, very comfortable, and it's going to be a very nice day tomorrow throughout the day. As you look at the game day forecast for the big homecoming game this weekend, Iowa State plays Oklahoma State, eighth-ranked Oklahoma State, seven-point favorites. Don't know how, but I guess we're favorites. 57 is going to be your game-time kickoff temperature, and it's not going to change throughout much of the game as clouds are going to be in and out, partly cloudy skies. 56 at the end of the game. It's going to be a gorgeous day for the game. It should be a great day, great fun day. As you look at the week ahead, 72, like I mentioned, tomorrow. Slight chance of thunderstorms, probably not going to happen. You have to be lucky if you're hoping for rain. And then, as I mentioned, those cool temperatures moving in this weekend. Slight chance of rain on Sunday, warming up early next week. We got those lows. Might hit freezing Friday night, but otherwise it should be a very pleasant week. Thank you, Luke, for that forecast. And I sure am excited about that game. Let's review tonight's trivia question. During which time period does Ames normally see its first one-inch snowfall? Is it A, October 15th through the 31st, B, November 1st through 13th, or C, November 14th through 24th? I sure am ready to get some snow. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen it. I know a lot of folks have some, you know, mixed opinions on it, but it'll be fun to do some sledding. No, I'm ready for that big early snowstorm to come through, drop about six, eight inches of snow, you know, Maybe, hopefully, cancel classes for a day. That'd be a nice day. <laughs> That'd have to be a big snow to cancel classes here. Yeah, we've been lucky that we've been very warm and without snow, but, man, I sure do miss it. I want to pelt a snowball at somebody. It's got to be coming. <laughs> I, yeah, wasn't it this time last year we were getting the snow all in, all in the Midwest? Up in Minnesota, I think they got about a foot of snow up there. Yeah. It was. It was It was cold last year. But uh, the answer to that question is actually C, November 14, 14th through 24th. So I guess we'll have to wait a little while if we're going to be following the average for this year. Yeah, at least it's not going to snow for the game on Saturday. That's true. I'm not quite ready for it at that point. <laughs> sure. for October cannot be disrupted by a little snow. It's got to keep going, and we got to keep going on that keep, train. Keep Heaven, rolling. Heaven knows we need it. Go Cyclones. Yep. But that concludes tonight's show. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can find every show on YouTube under our Size Eyes channel. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you later. Have a good night.